What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing a beer from Urban Artifact, and they're out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and this is their astronaut food, the a blueberry variant. So they're calling this one a freeze-dried fruit tart ale that is brewed with freeze-dried blueberries. Comes in at 15% alcohol by volume. No IBUs, listen, time of review. This can is just under three months old. I want to give a huge thanks and shout out to a very good friend of mine and fellow beer tuber, Jay, over at This Guy's Thoughts for this beer. So humongous thanks to Jay for this one. Really cool beer. I'll post a link in the description box to both Jay's channel and the beer mail boxing video I did that contains all the goodies he hooked me up with. And Jay's a great guy. Great reviews over there. He does beer the whole night. I mean, he does soft drinks, energy drinks, spirits, uh, alcoholic eggnog, just whatever he feels like reviewing, he does. Uh, he uh, is a very generous individual and he has some great content. So I cannot recommend his channel enough. And I am so happy he sent me this beer. So for his um, 1K uh, subscriber giveaway, he uh, ended up uh, getting some different things and he got a four pack from Urban Artifact of this beer. And uh, he uh, ended up sending one my way and I cannot thank him enough. Now, this is really cool. So I'm gonna read the spiel here on the side. It says, this fruit tart ale is brewed with freeze dried fruit. The 1,000 pounds of freeze dried blueberries used in each 1,000 gallon batch starts off as 11 11,000 pounds of fresh fruit. The fruit is flash frozen and then pressure is lowered and the ice is removed via subli uh, sublimation. Um, with the wild ripened flavor preserved, the astronaut food is ready to be brewed. Without water, the freeze dried fruit allows the brewers to achieve traditionally impossible flavor intensity in a natural way. Sounds wild. Now, I've reviewed some Urban Artifact beer on the channel, a lot of their Midwest fruit tarts, and a lot of them are really tasty. Uh, so this, at 15%, is going to be more like a wine. And I've seen reviews from Jay and uh, A Beer Day with TK, and uh, they really enjoyed this one. I feel like I'm going to, but I feel like this is not even going to be like a beer experience. It's going to be like more of like a you know high ABV wine, high ABV wine or something, but we're going to find out. So I cannot wait to give this a pour. We're going to throw it in the prairie glass here. Haven't used this in quite a while. I washed it out. Maybe some dirty glass mafia. We will see. Anyway, let's give it a pour here. Yeah, that looks like, honestly, this looks like wine. And I love the fact that this is in an eight ounce can. I didn't even, I mentioned it in the uh, beer mount boxing, but the eight ounce can is fantastic. So yeah, that fizzed away right away. There's no head. This looks like wine. This looks like, uh, I mentioned TK when he was real. I said, it kind of looks like a blueberry wine. Um, I've had blueberry wine uh, once or twice before, but yeah, it, it kind of looks like a blueberry wine. It's, it's, it has that purple-ass crazy look to it, or maybe like a blackberry wine or something like this, some kind of darker berry wine. Uh, you know, can't see through it. Had a, what, a third of a finger, maybe a quarter of a finger of this like light purple head that has dissipated to a thin film. That honestly looks like wine. You know, it's carbonated wine, we'll see. Um, there's alcohol sheets on the glass too. Let's get a nose. It, sm it honestly just smells like fucking blueberries and, and it has a bit, pretty big, intense alcoholic kind of nose. Yeah, it smells like a blueberry wine to me, honestly. It has like that tart, acidic kind of feel to it. Almost like the skins of a blueberry. <sighs> Man. This smells, <laughs> this smells crazy. It smells sweet, but tart. And then it has that like acidic kind of nose to it. It just, if you handed me this blind and said, here, what do you think about this? I'd be like, oh, this is, this smells like a nice wine. It smells like a berry wine. I, I don't know if I said necessarily straight on blueberries, but yeah. Whew. Kind of burning the nostrils from that alcohol. I mean, I've had 15% beers before, but I can't remember too many 15% like sour or tart beers with fruit. And that's what this is. And, um. It smells pretty good, but I'll just be honest with you. I'm not a wine drinker. I really don't. I, I was, time out. I don't really dislike wine or anything, but I'm not a wine drinker. I've had wine before, white, red. I've had blueberry wines. I've had different uh, berry wines before. They're not bad. They're just not in my wheelhouse, right? And that's what this kind of smells like. So I don't know if I'm necessarily going to enjoy this one, just to be honest with you, just based on what I'm smelling. kind of smells more of like a bigger alcohol kind of, you know, beer, but it's, it's more akin to wine. I don't know. Anyway, huge thanks to Jay for this one. Cheers, everybody. And uh, Jay, hopefully I enjoy this one, buddy. That's a fucking wild ride. This beer ta takes your taste buds on a crazy ride. Wow. 
So I do like it. And I roll back the wine thing a little bit because this is definitely sweeter than a lot of, you know, 13, 14, 15% wines I've had. It's really, it's, it's a, it's a very complex taste. It's hard to tell, but the body on this is very, very big. Um, it's not like too thick and syrupy, but this is like lower side of full to me. It has a little bit of like a syrupy kind of, you know, wine vibe to it. Not overly like thick. It's not like those fruit, uh, you know, smoothie sours where it's just like puree and you're like picking the, the pulp out of your teeth and whatnot. But it's big, the um, body. The mouthfeel really, really, um, the, the difference between this and obviously a wine is this is this has carbonation. This is more like a wine spritzer or something. So the carbonation dances on your palate and it's really, really prickly, very effervescent. I'm trying to take small sips because this is 15% and this is something I don't typically drink on a you know, any more like something like this, just because, you know, if you've been following the channel, open heart surgery the whole nine. So I try not to drink things this crazy. So I'm going to be sipping on this for a couple hours. So right from hit with a shit ton of blueberry character and it's sweet blueberry, tart blueberry, acidic blueberry, all blueberry. Passes through the palate and there is like a Concord grape type of thing going on, which remind it could just be, you know, my mind thinking that this is more wine-like, so I'm getting that, but like it has like a great darker grape kind of quality to it. That's like the first half of the palate. Lots of sweetness, lots of tartness. You get the blueberries. It's really nice. On the back of the palate, though, is where I'm, this is a full-on crazy dry beer. Like this is super dry to my palate. It's, I keep on, when I take a sip, I'm going like this because this is full on, this is bone dry to me on the back. Like all that sweet, fruity goodness from the blueberries up front is instantly sapped, <laughs> sapped from uh, that, that dry finish. This is not bitter at all or anything. Um, it has a lot of sweetness up front, but that dryness is intense. And that's one thing I don't like. I like sweeter wines. So when I do drink wine or have a glass of wine or something, I don't like really dry uh, wines. I've mentioned before on my channel, I don't really like dry beers in general. I don't mind like a semi-dry finish, but I don't typically like the full-on bone dry ones, and this is definitely that. I'm getting like a base sour ale that almost has like a, there's like a slight grainy thing going on, but like, I can tell there's a sourness to this beer that is not from the actual berry itself. It's not really sour, it's more tart. I can't believe how dry this thing is. Like, it is dry. I'll say this. 15 fucking percent? I, I, was, just, I was just thinking about it, like 15%. I'm talking about everything that would, you know, the flavors of something this big, but I haven't even talked about the alcohol blast. 15%? I can tell it's a bigger, but I'm not getting like a super astringent alcohol character on the palate. Getting a warm in the chest in the stomach, for sure. But on the palate, this, this does not drink 15%. I would say like 11 or 12. Uh, but it drinks like a bigger uh, beverage of some sort, but I would not say 15%. This is something that I'm happy they put in 8-ounce cans. And I'm happy that I'm trying this. I would ideally like to split this with somebody, even in an 8-ounce can, can. I think 4 ounces of this would be... More than enough for me. This is me something that I sip on the next couple hours and take down and uh, feel good about it. But like, you know, that's it for me for the day. Um, I do enjoy it. I think it's good for what it is. I would think, excuse me, I would think this would be a perfect beer if somebody who likes wine or like wine spritzer, something like a carbonated type of wine, if you wanted to try to introduce them in the beers, this might be like a gateway beer for them. Be like, hey, here's something that's wine-like but not necessarily exactly wine-like. And I think you could bring them over. I mean, it kind of looks like wine, kind of drinks like wine outside of the carbonation. I think you could, I could think you could convert somebody from a wine drinker to a beer drinker with this beer. It's really nice. But I, if I was doing this blind, I wouldn't even begin to tell you this is a beer, honestly. Um, I would like think this is like a, like I said, like a wine spritzer, some kind of carbonated like malt beverage. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
This is fucking, this is kind of a mind fuck, honestly. I don't know. I do enjoy it though. So I have no problems giving uh, Astronaut Food bl the blueberry variant from uh, from Urban Artifact. I'm going to give that a straight four out of five. Uh, this is this is unique. This And that's hard to say nowadays. I've, I've drank so many different uh, beers. I mean, I've, like I said, I've reviewed over, at this point, 1,100 different beers on the channel. Unique beers. I've had probably like six, 7,000 at this point uh, since I started drinking craft beer in late 2009, early 2010. And this is something unique. This is a uh, kudos to Urban Artifact for doing something like this. this is really wild. Uh, I think they did a, I think TK said they did a blackberry and raspberry uh, variant of this one. It was the first one they released. And uh, that would be cool to try. I, I don't you know how often they release these or, you know, if, I think these are pretty new. Like uh, in 2021, I think this is the first time I released it, but fucking cool. Real cool. So huge thanks to Jay for this one. Uh, price and availability. These are $29.99, a four pack. So you're talking, you know, basically $7.50 a can. For something that's 15%, even if it's in an eight ounce can, like $7.50 a can, you're paying um, a dollar, less than a dollar an ounce for something that's 15%. I think that's a good deal. Like nowadays, you know, I, I'm paying for like fruit smoothie sours and 16 ounce cans, like six or seven bucks. And they're like four or 5%, maybe 6%. So for something that's almost triple the alcohol. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't think that's a bad deal. And, uh, availability, I think you can buy them on their website or wherever urban artifact gets distro, I, which is throughout, I'm pretty sure Ohio, maybe into like, um, Michigan, some maybe surrounding States, maybe, um, where else? Maybe Kentucky, forgot where else I get, but we definitely don't get them here in the Western New York area. So real cool treat of Jay to send me this one. Um, not much more to say about it. It's fucking weird. I feel like this is a beer that you can watch, you know, a half dozen reviews from people, even the best beer reviews out there, which certainly isn't me. And I think you would still um, have a hard time understanding this, this beer to some degree. I think it's one of those beers where you have to try it to understand what we're really saying about it. Um, but it's a fun experience nonetheless. So huge thanks to Jay for this one. Jay, I uh, appreciate it, man. I will be hitting back Jay, uh, you know, sometime in um, January into February with a beer mail of some local offerings and uh, hopefully he enjoys them all. But I've enjoyed everything he sent my way. A couple of them, you know, weren't my favorite, but I just like trying beer and reviewing it. So, you know, you always got to be honest with your reviews. I like this one to some degree, but again, I wish I had about four ounces of this and I was splitting the scan with somebody better. Not much more to say. Go check out Jay. Say hi. Uh, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. If you've had this one, throw in the comment section what you thought. If you had the other uh, variant, the uh, Blackberry and Raspberry, I believe it is, um, let me know. I, I, would, I would love to hear any feedback on this series at all uh, because I think this is a different beast when you're talking about beer uh, more so than anything else that I've reviewed on the channel. It's just kind of fun, but so different. Anyway, thanks, Jay. Thanks, everybody. Till the next one. Cheers.